Hi, and welcome back. Um, this is really day 14 or 15 of our um, government, federal government uh, request to shelter in place. And as a senior, we uh, haven't been locked down yet, but it's, it's, uh, there's a notice on, on my, the door to our building um, saying that no visitors are allowed. And of course, we're, um, it's recommended that we don't go outside because we're in that um, high risk group of elderly. And that's just based on statistics. Um, and I, I made a, a video um, a few weeks ago when, when this really first started and they found out that uh, elderly were at a high risk because of uh, the statistics showed that people over 80 had 15 to 20 percent death rate um, f of those that, that uh, uh, re you know, got the, the um, disease. So I made a video and I called it um, Who's in the Canary Cage? And it was about if you want to find out if you're in the, mi in a, uh, the midst of coronavirus, COVID-19 disease um, epidemic, then just throw in a, a senior into the mix, and if the senior dies, you know you you know it was coronavirus, the uh, COVID-19. So, um, well, I wanted to mention that, and I'll put the link to that other video because I I presented it in kind of a, a comedic way, but I, it's a, certainly a very serious issue. And what's serious about it, I'm going to mention right now. In in a, a video that I saw of a doctor giving an account of a hospital in Spain, and he was so emotionally distraught. I mean, tears were, were falling down his face. And he said that it was breaking his heart because um, the protocol of putting a patient on a ventilator was age. And if someone came in and was needed ICU treatment, including the ventilator, which is usually what they put ICU patients on, especially in, in this case of pneumonia, um, if a patient was 80 years old, he was not put on a ventilator that person would be sedated and allowed to die by himself. And that just just broke my heart, broke this doctor's heart who was talking about it. And earlier I had seen a similar video, um, uh, and it was an interview of a, a, a female physician from, I believe it was Cremona, Northern Italy, and I've you know, I have friends who live in that part of Italy and I'm just heartbroken, um, not knowing if they're alive or dead. But so the policy in Italy for putting a patient on a ventilator or not um, was again, age determined by age, but in Italy it was 65 years old rather than, oh, I'm sorry, it's the other way around. Italy it was 80 and Spain it was 65. So in Spain it was even more devastating for seniors. So in Italy it was 80, which is still, you know, I'm getting close to 80 myself and I would probably not be allowed to have a ventilator if I'd need it. So all of this challenge to, why do we need so many ventilators? You couldn't possibly need that many. Ventilators is the difference between life and death with this um, COVID-19 disease, this pneumonia that this virus causes in people. So support our government and their, their desire to manufacture, to retrofit, to uh, clean up and gather together um, ventilators. It is really important. Um, and it's coming to my town, Phoenix. It's coming to your town. We see what's happening in New York. Those numbers are just exploding exponentially every single day. So 
pray for our elders, pray for our uh, physicians and the entire health team that is putting their lives in jeopardy every single day on our behalf to save our lives. So pray for their their well-being, their, their mental state of mind, um, and that they they don't get the disease themselves. Well, thanks again for listening, and I love each and every one of you. Be safe. I am Natasha.